Hello, hello, hello. Are we live? I think we are. Yep, we got sound. I can see. Right. Who can I see over on Twitch? I see Tom Potter, Hydrated Pelican, Laura, Amber Wakelin, Lynn Mills, Gollum Guy, Olivia Rules. Hello, hello. Over on YouTube, I see Coin Patrol, Minecraft Boyu. Robert Roberts, hello to you and happy birthday again. Uh, coins to collect. Joe collects coins. Pocket poet. Carrot collects. Jude S. I collect coins. Sporty girl eighteen. Sean. Uh, Mark Casey. Carl collects coins. Eurocoin. Roll hunter. Was Amber Wakeling here? And a big happy birthday as well to Amber Wakeling as well. Oops. Crash bang wallop. I hope you've all had fantastic weeks. The shirt returns. Yeah. <laughs> the return of the awful shirt. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. It's great. It's it's such a horrific shirt. I love it. <laughs> uh, hello, Kian Regan. Uh, Jane Stevens. How is everyone doing? How's my day? My day was great. It started off with a bit of a bit of bungle madness. It was very good. And I've been editing videos since. Stolen Dan's shirt. Yeah, <laughs> it was a bit Dan Temple inspired. I've got a couple more new ones on the way that look equally awful so um to appear at some point but it's been a dark dreary day why not bring a bit of a bit of brightness into the world but um there we go shall we look at some of the coins that people have sent in so for those that haven't seen previous um hashtag christopher needs a haircut 100 percent is getting a little bit mad now just a few more weeks just a few more weeks um but no, uh, what was I was saying. So people are redesigning the alphabet ten P's. So we've done A, we've done B, we've done C. This week was D. So shall we have a quick look? Where's the fez? The fez is off the side. Don't you worry. That's fine as long as you keep on putting on the videos. <laughs> Hello, grossy coin hunts. Right then, the redesigns. Where did I put them? They should be here. So we've got some awesome designs. Um, and now, for all these weeks so far, no one has designed the same, done the same design as I have. But this week, this that all changes. There is, um, my design is not unique this week. So it was instant prizes for you if you submitted the same design as me. I won't tell you which one, which design I did yet. But we have got. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, da 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 da. We've got D for Dam Busters, D for Dogs, D for Dairy Milk. We've got D for Driving Under Locked. I mean, Dominic Cummings. Uh, D for Darwin, D for Drunk, D for Downing Street, D for Drum Kit. And you may recognize that fella on the drum kit. <laughs> D for Donkey, D for Dam Busters, D for Doomsday Book, D for. Um, is he. Was it Dickens, I think? Uh, D for Dalek, D for Dirtle Door. We've then got D for Dalek, D for Doctor Who, D for Dogs for Good, D for Dennis the Menace, D for D Day, D for Downton Abbey, D for Dobby, D for Dam Busters again, D for um, what was that? D H Lawrence. That was it. Uh, Darth Vader, uh, Doctor Who, Darth Vader, uh, Dominic Cummings again. I mean demons. Um, D for demons. Uh, Doctor Who, and then Doctor Who again. I haven't got yours yet. It's a little bit late now. <laughs> so we've got some awesome designs. I was, I was blown away by a number of them. But no, some quite popular designs. Now I thought I was thinking really outside the box. I thought I was thinking really outside the box when I came up with my design. Um... So my design, I'll grab it. I also did D for Dam Buster. And that was my terrible, terrible drawing. I think that's the worst one I've done so far. I can't see what. I'll peek over there. There we go. That was my D for Dam Busters. So everyone that did. D for Dam Busters wins a prize. So I'll be in touch with you all 
this evening after the live stream, but a big well done to you. I thought, I thought, oh, I've got such a good idea here. And then the dam busters kept rolling in all week. <laughs> so a big well done to those of you that did dam busters, the same as myself. You will be able to vote for your favourite after the first break. Um, just gives it some time to settle in, to have a look through the designs, so we don't go for a, um, a snap instant decision. But as I said, some very, very impressive ones. How many dam busters have we got? We've got one, two... Three. Yeah, three of them. Unbelievable, right? So there we go. Missing Adam Boots is one. Hang on. Kezzers isn't there either. Have I missed some? Bear with me a moment. Um, hold the boat, just having a quick look. I'm pretty sure that was all the ones I got. I'll have a double check in the break, don't worry. So yeah, we got loads of awesome designs to, to uh, pick through. You'll be able to pick your favourite. Um, in the first, after the first break, you'll be able to start casting your votes for them. But some lovely, lovely designs. Who else do we see? I see Laughter, I see Carrick Collects, I see Dan Temple's Treasures. That would get my tro vote trove. I love the Duke. <laughs> Egg Egg has a Q Gardens, awesome. Well, I'm already up a little bit early today. Let's go back to, go to the gallery. Because at least this way it'll flip through the two pages of designs without me having to flip through them. But no, the last three weeks in the row, Amber Wakeling has won every single week. So we'll see. I'm not going to say which one is Amber's this week, but there is an Amber Wakeling drawing entry. So, um, T. Bernice already got my design for the E already. Wowee. One, two, three, four are all damn busters. I know, it's bonkers, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I was thinking outside the box, sadly not. How do you vote? You can't vote yet. It'll be after the first break, after the first bag of 10 p's, I'll get that all set up. Hello to Lainey, thank you for tuning in. And yes, next week we'll be doing the letter E. So um, feel free to submit your designs. You can submit them to me on all my social medias. If I don't respond, ping me a message, make sure I do respond, because as you can imagine, I get a fair few uh, messages week after week. Minecraft Boy Boyo has around 137 points for your collection. Points for your collection. Mm. Everyone's trying to guess which one's Amber's. Wow. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. Mandy Taplin can smell an Olympic swimming. Wow. Well, that would be good. That would be a lovely, lovely find. But we're five minutes, five minutes to go till the hunt starts. And we've gone through everything that needs to go through. I'm <laughs> going a bit... <laughs> I think I went, I went live a little bit earlier than I normally do. Posted it to me about 30 minutes ago. It needs to be in Saturday morning at the latest, I'm afraid, because it, it takes a long time to put them all together into this sort of collage. But if you get it to me before Saturday morning, it'll make it on there. I wonder how many EastEnders coins there will be. <laughs> it's a very British thing, isn't it, to be fair? I'm trying to think, what, what else begins with E that's quintessentially British? Hmm. 
I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start listing things off. I might might beat myself into a corner there. Carrot Collect says, "I may not be to you, Amber, but I'm still a winner." Hundred percent. A big thank you to everyone that has sent them in. What are we drinking today? Uh, it's just a uh, uh, black currant juice, I think. Exmoor Pony Easter eggs. Good ideas. Good ideas. Was your McDonald's nice? Oh my goodness, the McDonald's was amazing. So obviously the, the drive throughs have all, all started to open now. And on the drive back from work on Saturday morning, I thought, I'll, I'll just drive past. I'll see what the queue's like. Uh, because they come up to a, a slip road. Bef um, and I thought, as I'm going to a slip road, I'll, I'll have a quick spy over. And the queue wasn't that long. I thought, oh, okay. Well, there we go. We'll, we'll do this. And so I, up, up the slip road I went. And I, there was a guy waving everyone down saying, Which, are you going, do you want KFC or McDonald's? I said, oh, McDonald's. I said, oh, well, you need to go all the way around up this car park. And they're zigzagging down the car park down to the McDonald's. Like, oh, my goodness. Well, how bad can it be? Well, I sat there for an hour <laughs> to get my McDonald's, but it was 100% worth it. Oh, I have not. I have missed McDonald's so much. Uh, do I play mine, games like Minecraft? I used to play Minecraft an awful lot, um, but I don't really have time to play computer games of recent, uh, recently. So I haven't in a, a very, very long time. I played a bit of RuneScape as a couple of my friends that are uh, playing that on lockdown. I'm still working though, so I don't have as much time as they do, but it's been nice catching up with them and playing that game. Laney waited for half an hour for it. Oh. Lynn Mills has never eaten a McDonald's. Oh my goodness, never even never had a Big Mac. Wowie. Wowie indeed. Not had McDonald's in like twenty weeks. Oof. Am I drinking vodka and coke? No 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 no. This is this is this is juice. I do you like the the mug? It's a flamingo mug. Glass. Plastic. Laney's back to work Monday. Yeah, I think we're getting some sort of semblance of normality return to our lives now, aren't we? Special adult juice. No comment. <laughs> When's the hunt? Hunt starts at six o'clock. So we've got a couple more minutes. Will you be buying more trading cards for a stream or video? Um, quite possibly. I mean, the ones that I was doing previously were sent to me by Change Checker to scratch off. Um, so I was integrating them into the videos. But never say never. My design will be revealed later on. No point guessing people. Well, people can guess. People can have their guess. But I, I won't tell them which one's right. And I'm sure no one else will spoil it. Picture 13 is amazing. The Dalek. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? Very cool. I managed to have McDonald's the day before they shut. Oh. See, I, would, I used to have McDonald's about three times a week. <laughs> so having no McDonald's for... However many weeks it's been, has been um, it's been an experience. <laughs> Harry as a human is going to be late to the stream. Sorry, no, no problem at all. No problem at all. They're all good. They are. They're all fantastic. Uh, the time and the effort that's gone into them um, is pretty awesome. And I've got a neat kind of a neat, a neat plan for what I'm going to do with them when I get some time. Looking to buy gold coins. Where do I start? Uh, not on my channel. I don't know anything about gold coins, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, pfft, not a clue, I'm afraid. No, I'm not the right person to ask. Uh, you try one of the stacking um, channels, so like uh, Silver Stacker or Backyard Bullion. They, they would be good go-to channels in terms of precious metals. I buy my, the um, Silver Proof um, designs, but other than that, I don't have much much knowledge about uh, Doodah What's It's. Uh, Elliot Riley says, hey dude, dude, <laughs> really enjoy your channel, started watching and now I spend uh, my life looking for coins, I have you to blame, <laughs> oh, go to meal at McDonald's, oh Big Mac, it's got to be a Big Mac right, it's 6 o'clock, it's coin o'clock, right then, we're going to start with 10 peas, as is usual, we'll come back to these designs over on YouTube, is that just me or is that? What's going on here then? Uh, I think if you refresh it, just testing. Did that Mm. 
We're back. Come on Twitch, it looks like. The joys of technology. The joys of technology. Stream over. Sound is gone now. Maybe we will be set. We're going to. Oh, I think I'm alive again. Is that right? Yes. Hello. Just trying to see if it works on YouTube as well. Um, I can't tell if this is the one that's live. <laughs> I'm going to wave just to see if that, um, if I wave on YouTube. If not, I think I'm on the wrong thing. All right, I think we're good. How bizarre was that? It was fine up until the point where I got the coins ready. Much better, much better. That's what we like to hear. We, we are coming through loud and clear. Houston, we have no problem now. Unbelievable. Right, as I was saying, I'm going to start with the 10 Ps. Take my watch off so it doesn't get in the way. Change the name of your streams to Sunday School with Christopher Collects. <laughs> so, 2018, then we're looking for A, we're looking for D, we're looking for M, we're looking for H, we're looking for O. And I think we've got all the other letters of the alphabet, to be fair. Good stuff. Need the fez? Good point. We'll get, I'll grab the fez in two seconds. 2019. We have got E, G, and F. We've got L, K, J, I, H, O, X, v and t so we've got loads to find for 2019 All right fez 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 Ooh. there we go are we happy are we happy we're ready for the luck we're ready for the luck scissors in the pot there we go W in this hunt. Festival. <laughs> that shirt. <laughs> the shirt's great. The shirt's great. Bring a bring a, a bit of um, brightness into this dreary. Overcast, rainy weekend. It was raining so hard here in Southampton and I was having to walk in the forest. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would not have been uh, out and about in the rain, it must be said. It's bad enough putting my rubbish out in the, in the bin. <laughs> it wasn't bad as yesterday. Yesterday, absolutely belted it down. I have my redesign for the e-challenge thing. Awesome. You've already sent it. Wowee. Put them in the bag. Mm, can I a bit? Let's move these up a bit. Just don't seem to have as much room as I usually have. You've destroyed the two loves in my life with one shirt. <laughs> How you look at chat and hunt coins? Um, practice, I guess. Just pour down where Lynn Mills is. Cloudy in Birmingham might rain. The shirt is epic, says Dan. <laughs> Dan won't have anything bad said about the shirt, that's for sure. Mm. 
But no, what's everyone else been finding this week then? Finding or buying or adding to your collection? Dark Cloud in Newcastle upon Tyne, apparently. Deary dear. Dark and gloomy in Reading. Well, I'm not far from Reading. It's got a bit brighter, but it is it's been a bit of a, a bit of a rubbishy day. It's raining in sunny South End. Had an awesome Beatles t shirt which you ordered. Oh, that's cool. Oops. But I've got a couple more horrific shirts on their way. I cannot wait. They are dreadful. I can't wait for them to arrive. You think this shirt's bad? Just you wait until those other shirts arrive. <laughs> Drizzle in Barnsley. I felt like the weatherman. <laughs> Gutted my redesign isn't there. I sent it to you a week ago. Send it to me again, Keza, and I'll, I'll see if I can add it in before I open the poll then. If you if you sent it to me a week ago and I've missed it, resend it to me and I'll have a dig through my messages. I just Pelican bought a striker in Frankenstein. Awesome. Holy Toledo, Macamula. Welcome to being a Toledonian. I should have picked an easier name to say, shouldn't I? Toledo. To <laughs> dear, dear. So it looks, some it looks like something that one annoying teacher would wear on plain clothing day. <laughs> Should I resend mine as well? How should I resend it? Uh, however you sent it to me, message me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it happens to be. If you have already sent it to me and I've missed it, I'll try and get it added in, in the break. It should only take me a moment to do. Oops. Saw the video of the tacky Star Wars coin collection. Yeah, they were pretty dreadful, weren't they? They were pretty dreadful. Um, they weren't even coins, they were tokens because they had no monetary value. But I think it's really neat. <laughs> I, I like them because it's so tacky. And one of my, one of my most, most, fam my most favourite um, Star Wars uh, pieces is a little, it's a little black box and you you got a little Millennium Falcon on, on a little stick and you move it around and it moves left and right, left and right. And it's like it's like a uh, treadmill that's got asteroids on it and you wheel it and move the Millennium Falcon. You've got to dodge the asteroids. It is so tacky. I think it's great. Oops. How much did I pay for them? More than I remembered. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It was an early morning. I I wasn't completely 100% with it when I decided that looks like a good purchase. I'll buy that. I need a lock on my phone that prevents me buying anything between the hours of 7 in the morning and midday. That is what I make by impulse purchases. A coin collector's journey says, I now know what the Millennium Falcon is. Ah, you recently watched Star Wars then. Need that lock as well. <laughs> I 
What it should do is every every time you try and make a purchase, it moves a pound from your current account to your savings account. <laughs> Instead of spending money. Hello, Jono, LF, uh, LF, U, LF, L, U, F, whatever your name is. Hola, Jono. I did notice you hadn't been on Discord after a few streams. I imagine you've been busy, busy. Would you shout out Angel's channel called a, called a Coin Collector's Journey, please? Yeah, of course. Coin Collector's Journey. Whoops. Right, I've been through those. Right, see if we can get more luck than last week's 10p hunt, because last week's 10p's were pretty shambolic, weren't they? There we go, got an orange one. Lovely. Busy farming carrots, goodness gracious. <laughs> Imagine an Olympic bust. Oh, wouldn't that just be great? Sealed bags of Olympics. Man, oh man. I wouldn't know what to do myself. Thank you, Stacy. Stacy likes the shirt. If you could have coins in a certain colour, what colour would it be? Oh, purple. It's got to be purple. <laughs> I bet James said that. It was actually laughter, John. Eh? It was actually laughter that suggested that, that that might be what you were busy doing. You get tons in videos, but rubbish on the stream. Yeah, it's bizarre, isn't it? Because to be fair, it's 50-50 whether a bag ends up on a live stream or on a video. It's just the first bag that I lay my hands on goes into the video and what's left over goes on the live streams. Oh, missed one. I think that was just a lion there. Yeah. There you are. Favourite football team? I don't really follow any particular football team. I watch national games if, if, if they're important games, but other than that, I don't follow weekly football. Are you wearing the hat and shirt for a bit? No, no, no. So the hat, it all started last year when I went on holiday to Tunisia. Uh, Frankie Franks, who may be in the chat. Hola to Lady M, thanks for tuning in. Um, said if I came back from there without a fez, he'd be disappointed. So I did, and I wore it on the first live stream I did when I was back from holiday, and we got really, really lucky. So uh, I carried on wearing the fez, and then bought this one as well, this purple one. And this is the, the 10p fez. Because the red fez gives us good luck with the 50 p's. <laughs> I didn't say I, st I didn't. I don't like that shirt. I just said that shirt. <laughs> the shirt. I was. I think it was just on Instagram. It just came up as an advert. I thought that shirt looks so horrific. I've just got to have it. And it just just looks so dreadful. I love it. <laughs> the shirt is an epic shirt there we go see Dan, Dan's got my corner on that one Dan won't have anything bad said about the shirt what's my favourite Tempe redesign from this week oh I couldn't say I couldn't say We'll leave it to the comment section to decide. Do you wear it to work? No, I don't. <laughs> I haven't worn this shirt to work, no. 
Uh, Lady M says, I've just woken up after a great Nana nap. A great Nana nap? What's one of them? Favorite denomination? Um, it's tough to say. I like 50, I probably like 50p's and 2pounds more than 10p's, but the 10p designs are really cool when you do find them. So, I don't know. It's tough to pick. Oh, an afternoon snooze. I'm with you. I'm with you. Did, did Bungle have a nap as well? <laughs> Whose design is on the shirt? I have no idea. <laughs> Hello, Darren Cheshire. Have you missed anything? We haven't had anything in the 10 P's yet. No. Not yet. Hello, Mr. Retsim Relim. Thank you for tuning in. Favourite denomination of 50p coins, says Robert Roberts. What's everyone else's favourite denomination of coin then? Just out of interest. I think 50p's are going to win that by a small margin. Bungle had a snooze because she knocked him out. <laughs> Deary dear. That bungle, that bungle. Got people saying 50p's, 50p's. Katie Jones says 1p. Fair enough. Two pieces hydrated pelican. Two P, why two P's? Half penny says Ben. A hundred pound coin says laughter. £2 coins, £2. I think 50p's are slightly more popular. £5 coins. Like the Kew Gardens designs. Fair enough. 75p. Hmm. A three quarter pound penny. What would you put on a 75p? What designs would you put on a 75 pence? Oh, we got something. We got a jersey. Da 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 da. We see lots of them though. Probably in bits of my finger. No, so I had a, a horrific paper cut that ran up there when I was sealing an envelope. And that's the last of the paper cut that hasn't healed. Is it a Freemason's ring? No. Becoming a bit obsessed with... Iros. What's an Iros? A Aeros? The chocolate bar Aeros? You spelled that very wrong though. <laughs> if, you do, if that's what you mean. Stacey Lou is not a fan of 1p, 2p's or 5p's. Agreed. How rare is the Albert Tower 2p coin? I've got the faintest idea what you're talking about, I'm afraid. Is that if it's a territory one? I am not sure. Love the shirt. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. Oh, Euros, Euros. I'm with you. I get it. I get it. That's twigged. Euros. Not arrows. Man, that I would, I would love an Aero chocolate bar right now. Not a mint one, though. You can keep your mint out of the chocolate. That's horrific. Do they do a caramel Aero? Man, if they do a caramel Aero. A 
been an expat, I know all about paper cuts. So I see. There was a couple. It was like a week ago. I just everything I touched was just getting paper cuts. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's sticky. That's gross. Very funky shirt. Thank you very much. Caledonian Coins has the Caramel Chocolate Aero. Oh, amazing. You leave mints alone. <laughs> I just don't like mint chocolate. Just Mints should be um, only used in mints or toothpaste and chewing gum. But outside of those things, I don't want to taste mint. Mint tea. Ugh, gross. Wombalali Collect says, Hi Christopher and everyone else, have I missed much? All we've found so far is that jersey one. So we're still on the hunt. We are still on the hunt. What about after eight mint after eight mints? At Christmas, one or two, but like I said, they are the mint and chocolate is just so sickly. Chili chocolate. I've never tried it. It sounds odd though. They do a caramel whisper bar. Oh, I know whisper gold. Oh, I remember. I I worked at the news agents when that first came out. Man, oh man, that was good. Orange chocolate. Yes, agreed, uh, Alex. Thanks for tuning in, Alex. Love orange chocolate. The amount of Terry's chocolate oranges that I eat around Christmas is ridiculous. I probably eat my body weight in <laughs> in chocolate oranges, but they're lovely. Oops. Kit Kat chunky peanut butter. Yeah, they they were nice as well. And I had a white Twix last week as well. So good. And a white Snickers a few months ago. Oh, we need to stop talking about chocolate. We need to stop talking about chocolate. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> yeah, mint sauce again. I'm, I'm not a massive oh, fan of lamb. Um, I can't read that. Slithering Sam has joined the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very, very much. You tried the white chocolate Twix. I was just mentioning that I had one last week. It was so good, so good. The white Snickers were amazing. I know, weren't they just? Please rank celebrations. Um, and they see the best one was the truffle. I was gutted when they, they stopped doing the truffle in celebrations, because that was by far and away my favorite. The bounties. They might as well be straight in the bin with bounties. No one likes bounties, they're gross. I like the Maltesers. Do they still do the Maltesers? Have I tried white chocolate Cocoa Pops? I don't really eat cereal, so no, I haven't. But it does sound quite nice. If I had to eat cereal, it was always Cocoa Pops or Cinnamon Grahams when I was a kid. Truffle is in celebration. They put it back in. I remember for a few years they took the they took the truffles out, or you would get one truffle in your whole tub of celebrations. It was a, a joke. Have I tried the white chocolate lion? But I haven't. No, but that does sound lovely. How can anyone not like Yorkshire puddings? I love Yorkshire puddings. Although my brother made some Yorkshire pit puddings using almond milk the other week. Bit in, it's quite interesting. They're still nice, but yeah, they taste a bit, a bit sweet. What have I got for dinner? I have no idea. Not a clue. Christopher must be a mouse. They hate mint too. Really? Mice don't like mint. I wonder why that is. Very odd. I 
can't get anything better than a bounty. Oh, Robert Roberts. I tell you what, I'll send all my bounties next Christmas to you. <laughs> Who puts jam in a Yorkshire pudding? Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the drama has started already. Jam in Yorkshire puddings, yay or nay? Yay or nay to that? I got a yes, a nay, I got a hell yay. Everyone should stand temple's treasures. We're getting, a, we're getting a few nays. We're getting a few nays. My nan likes bounties, so it gets them all left over after Christmas. <laughs> we're getting a few more yays and nays. Tobler and fruit and nut. Oh no. Oh no. Ice cream in Yorkshire puddings. Mm. Different, different. Thank you very much, Sean, for super chatting. Nope to Yorkshire puddings. Full stop. But Yorkshire puddings at all. Wow. Yorkshire puddings are great. So having a bit of getting a bit of beef and some gravy and on that Yorkshire pudding and a bit of um roasted vegetables. Oh man. I'm salivating just at the thought. Gravy on pancakes. <laughs> I guess that's the flip side, isn't it? Because uh, Yorkshire pudding batter is a bit like pancake batter, is it not? So I guess... Gravy on your pancakes. Mm. Maple syrup and bacon on your um, pancakes, yes. Gravy, maybe not. Rich tea and bovril, what is going on now? Full Sunday dinner in a Yorkshire pudding. That sounds lovely. Topic in the celebrations. They still put topics in celebrations. I haven't seen a topic in Lord knows how long. <laughs> and those topics and picnics are always a bit like, mm, it would never be the chocolate part I'd pick in a news agent. Well, that is it. All we found was a Jersey 10p, which just goes to show how elusive they are. But we've got another bag. Hopefully we'll get more luck in the next bag. I'm going to go wash my hands, though, because they're getting pretty gross, and I shall be back in a moment. I will leave you looking at the designs, and once I come back, you'll be able to start voting. So there we go.
There we go. I was just adding on the... Um, there were three designs that had been submitted in time, but I hadn't added into the thingy doodah. Uh, so it's number 30, 31 and 32. Did come to me in good time, but I missed them. So my apologies. They have been added in though. Um, what am I, th what, what, what am I trying? No sound. There is sound. I'm sure there is sound. I can hear myself. Trolls. Trolls. <laughs> um, what's the thing I normally use for the voting? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Straw poll. Deary dear. When's voting commencing? Momentarily. I'm going to create the poll now. Right, I accept. Favorite D redesign. Christopher collects. I shall only be a moment. How many are there? 32. Thirty-one and thirty-two. There we go. Right. It's going live. I will post it onto the what's it called? Oh, hang on, that's Instagram. I'm just putting it into the chat. And you'll be able to cast your votes. I'm just putting it into the Oop. chat. Echo. It's on YouTube. I'm just putting it on Twitch now. Twitch. There we go. I'm sure the moderators will pick that link up and repost it as time goes by. But feel free to start casting your votes. The winner gets a prize from me. Oh, I've lost my um, actual vote. There it is. Mm. I've got to cast a vote to be able to see the results. Right, see, start seeing the votes flying in. Do I remember Rod, Rodney Bunny, Rodney Bunny, Benjamin Binny, Benjamin Bunny? We've got some votes flying in. 37 votes so far, 39 votes so far. Now, what have I done with my vape? Oh dear, dear, dear. I've put it somewhere. Right, I can last, I can last. He says, <laughs> what's he still looking for it? Oh, it's on charge, isn't it? Duh. Right, so I vape, you shouldn't vape. If you vape, you will spontaneously combust. So don't do it. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Agreed? What was my design? For those who didn't see, I also did D for Dam Busters. So there'll be some prizes on their way to the people that also picked Dam Busters. It's not my favourite design that I've done so far. I thought I was thinking really creatively outside of the box. I remember in um, in secondary school we had to do write projects on something historic, and I wrote I did my project on um, the Dam Busters. I thought that's a really neat idea. I'll do that, and then the Dam Busters, as you can see, just carried on rolling in all week. I thought, uh oh, <laughs> a bit of more life advice from Rets and Relums is don't wash your clothes upside down. Very good, very good. Sean gave up smoking today. Wowee, well done to you. Good luck with that. I'm sure you'll be able to smash it. Some stunning designs this week, weren't they just? 
21's out in front. 21, what was that? Oh, it's just changed. Come on, change again. Once more, come on. Come on, I want to see what number 21 is. It's it's by the smallest of margins. D for Dobby is in the lead. Don't eat specific coloured snow. Good advice. Good advice. If you vape, you'll explode. Exactly. Exactly. Don't do it. <laughs> Jamesy Boy Behoy doesn't agree with the one that's in the in the lead. So we've got 66 votes. It's winning with 13 votes. Next close is number 13, which I've just missed, <laughs> with 10 votes. Number 7, it's 6 votes. So it's, it's, it's close at the top. It's close at the top with only 66 votes so far. Don't throw coal on a gas fire. Best advice, join Team Sherlock. Team No Hope, who's going to join Team Sherlock? The, the, the whole Team Cathedral Tower, it's a two-horse race, and um, Sherlock has decided to take to, to, um, to run along the stands and is chasing the teams. Dobby would only be good if he was given a Glock, not a sock. Goodness gracious. Not as close as last week. Oh, last week was very, very close. Amber almost lost it last week, didn't she? But no. Let's move on with the coins then. We will come back to those that you can vote for in the next break. Don't worry. But as of now, 21 is just about ahead of number 13. Scissors. There they are. Right then, so what are we looking for? Where's the book? What have I done with it? That's two pounds. That is 50 P's. We are, we've got almost the whole page. Minus the Q guns, which is about par for the course. We've got a whole page of Olympics here. We've got our second whole page of Olympics here and we're missing olympic triathlon we've got wrestling though man am i on a roll with the wrestlings at the moment though they are pouring in for the coin that has for so long been my bogey coin i have been finding an absolute ton of them which is very good upside uh, up upside down up, upside down flopsy bunny all, all the way up to the brexit 50p so it's just Q Gardens and um, Triathlon we need. Wouldn't they be good? Come on, find lots and lots of towers. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. So, are we keeping my Britannias and my shield separate? Because I look for the year 2008 on the Britannias. And on the shield, like that, we're looking for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18. Potentially 20 as well, because I've not seen any go through my change. There we go. Our first one, of course, it is Paddington at the Cathedral. Paddington at the Magnanimity. It had to be, didn't it? Team Tower. Go Team Tower. Those of you that are members on, members on YouTube, you can get your Team Tower emo emojis in there. We're going to win. We're going to win. I've had a couple of videos where we've had a few more towers, but it's not the individual bouts that we worry about. It's the overall competition. George Joyce calling Olympic boxing. Oh, dear. There's some cathedrals going in there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Team Tower. <laughs> uh, Christopher, are you concerned about storing coins and books like that? The coins will tarnish. Um, I mean, they're, they're okay for the sort of medium term, uh, like, I don't know, three, four, five years. Much more than that, then yes, they will tarnish. But that, that's the nature of coins. Uh, over time, all coins will tarnish because they are metal. They will react with the elements unless you are manage, managing to store your collection in a vacuum. They will tarnish over time. 
Obviously, there are things you can do. I do put them into coin flips. I haven't quite decided what I want to do with my books yet, my completed books. I'm still uh, puzzling over how I want to store them in the longer term. I don't really want to take them out of the books because it's sort of signif the significance of these are the coins that filled this particular book I quite like. We've got our first Peace, Prosperity and Pepperonis Maketh the Breakfast 50p. I'll pop that just there. And there he is. That's the one you want to find. That's the one you want to see. Paddington at the Tower. To be fair, I think they're both going to be fairly high mintages. But I think Cathedral is going to be somewhat more. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Pepperonis. Next thing is vacuum sealed coin books. Have you ever found a Kew Gardens on a live stream? Not on a live stream. I found one in a video. I found one before I started making videos. But it's been a long, long time since I found a Kew Gardens. And I won't be holding my breath. <laughs> because they are so, so scarce. I think the most recent Kew Gardens find, it's got to be total coins, right? I don't think anyone's found one since then. That wasn't too long ago. So they are still out there. Probably better put them in flips at some point though. I might buy a, a coin flip book. So I can put them in flips and then put the flips in, the, in a book. That is what I was thinking about. Oh dear. It's 2-1 to the tower. Well, to be fair, if we want duplicates of any coin, out of the two, it's going to be the tower, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not going to change the team. I know I'm going to win. I know plenty of people that are on Team Cathedral who are well aware that that ship is f is sinking fast. That could have been bad. Could have been bad. That could have been bad. We've got ourselves a scouts. Hashtag free the stamps. It's not going to happen. I might put a stamp video up as a members only benefit at some point when I have, I have, the PC is in a cupboard I just got to get it all plugged in and rocking and rolling again but but yes I don't think the general public want to see stamp videos <laughs> I made a fair few of them over a fair few weeks and nobody was interested so oh we've got our second scouts there we go holy Toledo's uh, Coinpig found two Q guns in 2019 and two in 2014. What a name. What a name. That looks like a trick name. That looks like a trick name. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud. I'm just, it's just twigged what that is. <laughs> Unbelievable. I did not just fall out the lemon tree. You're not going to catch me with that. Don't you think there are way too many 2019 shields? Agreed. Agreed. Holy Imagine Toledo. how many commemorative designs we could have had. Uptown Rick is now hosting the stream of the viewer. Thank you very, very much. Over on Twitch. Minecraft Boyo's dog says hi. Well, we'll be saying hi back a bit later. We do pet shout outs on the second bag of 10 pieces. Stay tuned for that. We've got ourselves a Jeremy Fisher. Jeremy the frog slash toad boy Fisher. Holy Toledo. Bring out the Chris of a collects token. Ah, good point. Let me grab one. So, for good luck, obviously, we've got a Christopher Clex Holy Toledo token available at www.christopherclex.co.uk. This one is number 224. And I tell you what, if anyone buys one from now onwards, the first person who buys one will get that token. Why is it not appearing? What have we got? There we go. It's just about in shot now. The next person that purchases one will get that very token. I did it last week, and that was sent out. 
Thank you very much, Katie Jones, for the super chat. James B. Hoy Coin says, I will ignore spamming of hashtag free the stamps for two minutes. <laughs> Is that your way of green lighting people to spam free the stamps? We've got Victoria Cross, the medals. Another very common one, but a cool design nonetheless. You should do a Christopher Clex giveaway once you hit 100 likes. Hmm. I thought about that, but it's just, I'm not quite sure how we would uh, draw a winner. Because it's different. Obviously, if I do a giveaway video, people can comment on that video, then I can do a random comment picker. But I'm not quite sure how it would work. Hashtag free the stamps. Goodness gracious. Burn the stamps as laughter. I won't burn them. I still collect them, but there are no stamp videos planned. You might get one as members, though. If you're members of the YouTube channel, I might release one. There we go, more pepperonis. Everyone's favourite pizza topping. I thought I saw something then. I like Agent Hull. Loving the quirky shirt. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? We've got ourselves a Benjamin Binney, Roger Rabbit, Rodney the Rabbit. Whatever you want to call him. Drawing isn't your strongest suit. Thanks, go big. <laughs> Another Benjamin Binney. Whoops. Should I stay here or watch on YouTube? You got a better bet, better chance of me seeing your comments over on Twitch purely because there are less people view it. There'll be less people on Twitch. Whereas the YouTube comment seems to fly away. My granddad gave me his giant stamp collection. He collected giant stamps. Awesome. Uh, my boss got a shed load of stamps when his granddad died and doesn't know how to value them. The problem with stamps, the vast majority of stamps, even a lot of world stamps, are not going to be worth a fortune. Purely because... There were so many of them made and issued. Uh, your, the mint, even mint stamps, stamps that were never used. You've got companies, there's a company that I use that I buy mint condition old stamps that have never been postally used. Uh, you buy them at a discounted price because they're still, they're still, um, you can still use them for sending documents in the post. Holy Toledo. So that is the problem with stamps. There's a very few of them that are worth much more than what their face value is. Uh, Little Pickle has hosted the stream. Thank you very, very much. We've got ourselves a representation of the people act there. They weren't actually giants. Oh, okay. Uh, I put my stamp collection on everything stamps in Discord. <laughs> You've got that lovely um, Bobby Moore stamp, haven't you, Jamesy? Isn't your birthday coming, Christopher? It is, in fact. It's uh, is it next week? I can't remember. Yeah, next Friday. Unbelievable. To all coin tubers, if you see this comment saying loved it or wanna be friends, please remove the comment as it's a spam bot. Oh, those comments over on YouTube. Oh, yeah, I get them all the time. Do you want to be YouTube friends in. or whatever it is? The problem is they use all different um, logins. If you block one, three more will crop up. Little Pickles, join the hunt over on Twitch. Thank you very much. What was your coin redesign? Mine was, I did D for Dam Busters as well. Is it going to pick it up on here? That's my, uh, is it a Lancaster bomber? Is that what they are? I seem to recall. Who arranges birthdays on a Friday? I've never been to a birthday on a Friday before. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.
Hello, GSA Wolf Coins. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've not found anything exceptional yet. We're on the hunt, though. It could happen. We've got ourselves another Bonjamin Binny. And a 2017 Peter Rabbit. We're just missing old Crazy Eyes himself, Tom Kitten. Then we've made that whole setup. There's a dictionary. Very common. What's going on here? What were the bombers that they used in the... Um, Avro Lancaster modified to carry the bouncing bombs. There we go. It was Lancaster bombers. I can retain some information, it would appear. Katie Holes is a big birthday coming up, and it's on a Tuesday. A big birthday. The plane reminds me of the first boss game Vector Man on the Mega Drive. Anyone here old enough to remember it? <laughs> dear, dear. No, my drawing skills are not the best. It has to be said. But I'll have a crack at it. Try anything once. My birthday has never been not first day back to school after these holidays. Really? That's no good. Speaking of YouTube comments, people who comment want to be friends and loved it. Do not comment or like them. Multiple people have had their accounts hacked or stolen. Do not reply to them. There we go. Hang about. I've just seen something. What do you suppose that is? What is that? How many Q guns have I found? I found two. I picked up another bag and just caught a, a brief. Oh, there we go. Glance of that. Let's get into that and have a look at what that is. It looks like someone has painted or burnt it a coppery colour. That's kind of neat. Bizarre, isn't it? Well, that's one for the oddities box. It's your overdue cue. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. The only way we can guarantee we'll never find another cue gun is if we stop looking for it. So we'll just keep at it. Keep on at it. Eventually it may happen. You never know. It's been plated, quite possibly. Quite possibly. Oh, someone's coloured this in. That can go in your Odyssey's box with your B and L M. Yeah. We've got another pattern at the tower there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Bungle. Bungle has joined. And it's causing mayhem already. We've got ourselves a suffragette, so that's a nice coin to find, 100%. Any good finds? This is probably our best find so far, the suffragettes. Lovely stuff. Although that was kind of an interesting oddity. Does Bungle not approve of the um, Bungle and Lady M tokens being, uh, 50p's being in the uh, oddities box then? <laughs> Lord of the Lude himself. Oh, Bungle. He's had a nap. He's recharged. He's ready to go. Ready and raring to go. Fifteen is flying up in the poles, really. We've got an iron side there. Very nice. Whoops. Let's rearrange these a little bit. There is a um, Scouts. Been here since the start. I've been challenging the power of Cathedral. What's the score? Uh, 
I think, Bugle, have you seen this one? This one's really cool, isn't it? Isn't that neat? It's a gold proof Britannia. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Finding a gold proof in a 50p coin would be bonkers. There's another dictionary there. And we have more pepperonis for the pile of pepperonis. There we go. That's what we want to see. We want to see it catching up a bit. Paddington at the magnanimity. It is now 3 2. It's 3 2. I'm sure we'll find some more. I'm sure we'll find some more. Do you think the 2020 team, team GP. Blah, 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 blah. The 2020 Team GB 50p, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Will be really valuable coin. Mm, it's tough to say. The problem is, we're at a time where, if anything, there's a snifter of it becoming rare. People will buy it en masse. So the amount of people I know that have bought one since we found out it's not going to circulation. God, that's been battered up a bit, hasn't it? Uh, since we found out it's not going to be released this year, I don't know. It may, in time, I think, definitely. Given 20 years, 100%. But, I don't know. In the next 12 months, 18 months, maybe. Final count guess for Cathedral. Mine is Cathedral 5, Tower 3. That's a good idea. A new to collect, uh, uh, Rick, Rick's 51 says, Hi Christopher, new to collecting, can you explain Ironside 50p? What does Ironside refer to? So that's the Ironside design, designed by Christopher Ironside, who designed, 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 <laughs> goodness gracious, I can't talk today, designed um, loads of other coins. That was his submission uh, to, rep to, to for the definitive design of the Britannia, which I haven't got to hand. Um, and it was just, in 2013, was issued as a commemorative coin. It's one of my favourites. It's a fellow Christopher. I do keep him. It's already selling for fifty pounds. Yeah, but there's still the, there's still the buzz about trying to get one though. There's still that big buzz about getting one. I would imagine in eighteen months when all the orders for them have gone out, it's a, it's the the value in my mind will drop a bit, and then it will start creeping back up again. Because lots of coins sell for silly money when they first come out. I remember when I first started the channel, I was still I was still selling coins that I found uh, before I gave that up because it was pointless. I sold a Tom Kit, I sold two or three Tom Kittens for a fiver, and who would want to pay that for it? But it's because it's because it's new, because it's hot, a hot topic. Um, that could be influencing it somewhat. I think it'd be the same as 2018 Newton. Oh no way, Jose! Not a chance. We got a jersey one there. There are going to be far less 2018 Newtons than 2020 uh, Doodars, Team GBs, surely. The Newton, you had to go down to the Royal Mint and strike your own. You can still buy the annual sets for less. Yeah, exactly. But no, there's, there's no way it's going to be the next 2018 Newton, but it's going to be a desirable one, 100%. Just I don't think in the immediate future. I think we're still riding the, the wave of people being excited to buy it, knowing it's not going to be produced this year. I'd be interested to know how many are produced, though. George Dog is not a bot, he promises. Alex Bond bought the annual set a month ago, it's still waiting for it to be dispatched. Yeah, there are big delays on the dispatch at the moment. I've managed to get uh, order, uh, arrived is the first part of my third dinosaur. I don't know which ones, I haven't opened it yet. But it would appear that one of the silver proofs is with me. Paddington at the um, palace there. 
We're just missing Paddington at the station. Then we've got all of the Paddingtons. Can you go down to the Royal Mint and strike your own queue? Uh, no. Uh, you can't go down to the Royal Mint full stop at the moment because it's closed because of what's going on in the world. Hopefully it's going to reopen soon because I can't wait to get down and I'm sure the other coin tubers and those of you viewers that want to go down can't wait as well. But um, they, they, they set what the strike your own is. You don't get to pick what coin you strike. So the last one was the Iguanodon, which is only there for a couple of days before lockdown happened. All I need is Mrs. Tittermouse and Kew Gardens, then I'm fine. Ignore the last comment. I see. But I'm hoping when it does reopen again, they put the Iguanodon back as the Strike Your Own, because I've not missed one since the Frankenstein. And I'd be gutted to miss one. Uh, when can I go get the £250 in 50p's? I went to the post office, but they said they only give to people who have a business. Uh, so I have a business account. That's how I get all my coins. I, you can All you can do is ask at different banks and find if any of the banks will allow you to do so. Uh, but it costs, the, it costs the banks money to order in coins and handle coins. So that hence, with a business account, there are fees and charges for having it. This is the last bag of this hunt, though. We've had no Olympics yet. We've had a suffragette today, so and we've had that cool orangey looking one. We've got ourselves another Bonjamin Binny. But that is it. Nothing new for the book, sadly. But with only two coins left to fill the book, I have a feeling that's going to happen for a few weeks at least. Starfine, it's got to be. No. Suffragettes. That was kind of neat there. That will go in my oddities box. But there's some pretty cool finds. Just over 10,000 proof Olympic 50p's. No idea on the BU coins, obviously. Yeah. Edge hunt, please. Oh, I forgot to do that. We'll do that in the next bag. Don't worry. Uh, we're coming back. We're doing £2 coins. So we will do some edge hunts on the £2 coins. We're going to flip on over to this view. I'm sure the moderators will uh, organise it and start posting the links. If you want to go and vote for your favourite design, click the link and go vote for it. And the winner gets a little prize from me as well. Along, along with the people that did Dan Buster because that was the same design I did, they get a prize as well. I can't uh, visit it unless I stay in Wales for like a few days. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek down there for some people, for those of you living far, far away. But it is uh, an awesome, awesome... Uh, day out at the Royal Mint. I would highly, highly recommend it. And there was no Donald Trumps. That's a good point. <laughs> no one did Donald Trump for D for Donald. But there we go. I'm going to go wash my hands again. I keep going to show that camera. I'm going to wash my hands again because they've gone a bit gross. I should be back momentarily. And we're back. How is the voting going then? What? We've got number 21 on top. 
Dobby is still in the lead by three votes. Number 13 following up close on 13 votes. What was number 13? I forget. 32 is amazing. Lovely jubbly. 13 is the Dalek. We've got Dobby versus the Dalek versus number 15, which was another Dalek. So there we go. We've got some popular popper designs, but number six was good though, the drunk one. <laughs> when that one came in, that did make me smile. I'm has to be said. What have I done with vape now? There it is. There we go. We're gonna do two pound coins in a moment. Harry Seaman says my design got two votes. I'm happy. It's more than last week. 100%. 100%. Hello, Caledonian Coins. It's me lurking in the background recording a video or two. Speak soon, everyone. But good luck in your hunt. I can't really see on that camera. I'll, I'll show you on the other camera. We'll go back to the, back to the coin hunt. They're all signed. 